Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uninstall Eclipse IDE on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 operating system. Right now, I'm using Windows 11 operating system, but the process will be same for Windows 10. So generally, in order to uninstall a software, there is a very simple uh, process on Windows 11, which is by going to the control panel. So when you search for control panel here, just click for click on the control panel and when you uh, click under programs there is the an option called uninstall a program just click on that and here you will find that uh, program you can click on the program or select that program or and uninstall it by clicking on the uninstall button but eclipse is not listed in this list so how we can uninstall eclipse if it's not even listed in this list. So the simple option to uninstall Eclipse is you just need to go to the icon where your Eclipse uh, icon is there. In my case, it's on desktop. But if you don't see this uh, Eclipse shortcut icon on desktop, you can even search for Eclipse uh, on your Windows operating system. So I'm going to just search for uh, Eclipse here and you will be able to see this eclipse option and then what you need to do is you need to click on this option which is called open file location right so just click on open file location you can right click on the search result also on eclipse and here also you will find the open file location if you see this icon shortcut on the desktop then right click on the shortcut icon of Eclipse and then also you will find open file location here. So just click on the open file location using any of the options and you can see uh, in my case Eclipse is saved into this folder which is called CodeBind. In your case it will be your username, right? So there is this uh, folder which is called Java and under this, this Eclipse folder is there. So what we need to do is we just need to go to the home folder and here you will be able to see the Eclipse uh, option. So this is the Eclipse option, right? So just right click here and then you can delete it. So in my case, I can just press on this delete icon and it will be deleted. So once you click on delete, it should be deleted and it should uh, go to the recycle bin, right? So you can see this folder is being deleted. Same you can do for uh, the Eclipse workspace because at the time of uh, installation of uh, Eclipse, uh, you might have created Eclipse workspace, which is also in the same home folder of your Windows 11 or Windows 10. So I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to delete this uh, folder also. So you can see the process of deletion is going on for both these folders. The third folder you can delete here is this dot eclipse folder, which is a hidden folder. So if you don't see this dot eclipse folder, just click on the view option here and then click on show and then check this option, which is called hidden items so if you uh, uncheck uh, this option then the hidden item will uh, not be seen and if you check this option then you will be able to see the hidden item so here you need to delete this dot eclipse folder also so i'm going to right click once again and then i'm going to just click on delete and it's going to delete that folder also so you just need to delete all these folders related to Eclipse and once all these folders are deleted Eclipse will be removed from your Windows operating system. Now if you want to uh, remove Eclipse fully then you can even just empty your recycle bin and everything related to Eclipse uh, will be removed alongside the recycle bin uh, files and folders right so I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to empty 
my recycle bin by just clicking on empty recycle bin and then Eclipse will be permanently removed from your Windows operating system. If you see this shortcut icon, even after the deletion of Eclipse, you can manually delete it also. So right click here and then you can just click on delete and this icon will also be deleted, right? So that's how you can uninstall Eclipse IDE from your Windows operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.